Hi there, and welcome to BSF Recovery Team. As many of you may already know, this past Memorial Weekend, the team and the wrecker were down at Dresser, Wisconsin for the Minnesota Gulf Force 44th Annual Total Off-Road Rally. Let me start off by telling you that the rains we had this spring and on Memorial Weekend made the trails very difficult and the recoveries even more difficult. Let's check this one out of the FKR short bus. When we arrived on the scene, we found the short bus stuck in this hole with a grenaded transmission and all four tires locked up. What were you attempting to do here? Go up the hill. Up there. Hey, you were up there? Always. How far did you make it? It's about the bottom there. <laughs> Some white truck is in the way. Yeah. Up the top of the first out there. What's broken? Probably easier to tell you what ain't broken. <laughs> really? Yeah, it sounds like that. I will guarantee you this will be a tail today. It'll be what? Well, we'll be robbing parts off it for other guys' trucks. So. FKR, Fat Kid Racing. That's what that means? Yep. That's what you got to put it on YouTube for. Fat Kid Racing, huh? I yanked them back into that hole trying to get them out of here. Ah. Oh. We had a wall, you know. So did he almost make it up or no? He made it to this bottom here and my buddy made it up there almost up and then he busted his stuff in half and another wrecker took him off the top. Ah. And this guy busted the bottom so we a lot of carnage. Okay. So you're the reason why he's here. I was probably an instigator, yes. <laughs> but it was fun? It was awesome, yeah. That's why we come here to wreck. After quickly finding out how much difficulty the wrecker had maneuvering on this side slope that was covered in mud, I decided that backing up to the short bus and hooking on wasn't going to be a good option. I really didn't want to get the wrecker stuck in the mud holes that were just outside the passenger side door. So I decided it would be better to winch the short bus up out of the hole and onto a flat spot of the trail. So we found a good spot to park the wrecker and then anchored the front end. You know the axle's all busted up. Where your axle is? It's shoved ahead about 8 inches. Yeah, you're going to pull it in the axle. Well, it's 8 inches forward oh, right now, so it would just pull it back. All right. Yeah, it might actually fix it. Pull it in the axle, don't pull up here. Oh, that's because the axle's axle 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 straight forward. Oh, is it way undercut or what? because the front of the leaf is back. Oh, the axle's coming from the end of the wall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, leave up right there. Yeah. You want it? You want to pull on the axle then? You can. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Trust me. Yeah, it's probably really rather. Uh, it'd be easier. It's all fucked up. It's good. That way, we pull them off. All right. You know. Well, I, I, I get, I get him on the back. I can't. Okay. I'll, I'll end up down there and stuck. I guarantee you that. I can pull on the front of you. We're gonna go to the axle. After finding out that prior attempts to pull the truck out of the hole resulted in a bent driver's rear spring, I decided hooking the winch cable to the left side of the rear axle, at least until the back tires were up out of the hole, would probably keep the spring I knew, from I breaking. When, uh, when you started going in this hole, I just fucking hammered it, you know? And then you dead stop. <laughs> yeah, the momentum stopped. Minimum maintenance. I'm going to fire it up. Is it low maintenance or is it minimum maintenance? Minimum. You want to let him hit. Hey, you want to let him know I'm going to start. Now you're going to start it? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to start it up. Then he got steering. Then he can steer.
what you're seeing there, every time the tires let go and roll a little bit, are actually more parts breaking in the grenaded transmission. it again. In case you're wondering, that's not the wench on my wrecker stalling out. That's me just taking it easy on the cable and keeping an eye on everything. The wench on the deck of the wrecker is hydraulic and it'll actually kill the engine before it stalls out the wench. Oh, I jumped. It was. Well, it's, it's moving. It's Slowly. It's coming. At this point, I decided before I pull my wrecker apart that we ought to set it down and do something different. By using a snatch block on the short bus and then stringing the cable back to a tree, the load or force on the wrecker would be divided between the tree and the wrecker. You haven't seen me use this trick before in my videos because, quite honestly, everything I've wenched out prior to this, the tires were rolling, and the load on the wrecker has never been quite this much. At least, not since I've owned it. You can see now, the short bus is coming up out of the hole, and we aren't even picking up the front end of the wrecker. One or twelve?
Once we got the short bus up out of the hole, we could take the snatch block off and they were able to get the hubs unlocked so the front tires would roll. But the transfer case was still stuck in four wheel drive and they couldn't get it out. So the rear tires were still locked. We were gonna have to put it on the hook. And again, because I didn't want the wrecker sliding down the hill and getting stuck in the mud holes, I decided to winch the short bus up to the back of the wrecker. It took a little work to get it maneuvered through the trees and up to the back of the wrecker. Once we got it up to the back of the wrecker, we could put it on the sling and pick it up. Just in case. We, uh, we might need a little help with this heavy monster. Why is it because of the mud? Because it's a big heavy short bus. <laughs> yeah. Mike led the way back to camp with the Tahoe, just in case we needed a little help getting through some of the mud holes or up some of the hills. And we had Mara follow close behind in the yellow jeep, just in case we had to winch backwards for some reason. The trip out of the woods went kind of slow. I had a lot of things to keep my eye on while trying to maneuver the short bus and the wrecker through the woods. Where'd you get that light? Just give me to go. The water. Oh, really? Yeah, you see it full light. You see that 27 pounds of things it does. Since I can't get a light bar like this, but... So... I need to find this one, uh... Stick to walk through the dash and stuff. We can put strobes in the... in your... Lights near market lights. The people don't know who you are. You got the sign on the side of the jeep. One guy, ah, uh, we found that one. Had that last recovery. And then.
as it turned out, just before we got out of the woods, we did find a hill that was just a little bit too greasy for the wrecker to tow the short bus up. And in the process of finding the best way out of the woods, Mike ended up behind me. Mike's feelings got a little bit hurt when we had this truck pull me up the hill instead of the Tahoe. But I told him we'd make it up to him later on. After we made it up the hill, we made our way over to where their semi-trailer was parked and set the short bus down. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team, and maybe we'll see you in the woods. You gotta have one of these now. Oh, I know. You're, you've been hooked. <laughs> I don't Don't worry about Somebody, it. Come by, come by That you know. was a workout. But I'm glad we got her done. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You still gonna wheel? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Why not? Well, no, but you still gonna wheel with a buddy? All right. Plan on wrecking them all. Those guys are. Yeah. All right. Gotta have fun somehow. Oh, we can get them on. Don't worry.